Like, man, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like they just got lazy, dude. Like, they don't care. Like, <laughs> uh, So the gang wants to interview the suspects, but can't be seen at the school. So they all work on disguises. Does Scooby just eat a fly like a frog? You guys have yeah. done episodes with the Harlem Globetrotters, Kiss, and Don Knotts. How are you <laughs> finding new ways to make this more insane? They're apparently impressed, though, with how Daphne made over Velma. Wubba, wubba. Hey, you can say that again, Scoob. Wubba, wubba. Congratulations, you're attractive to a dog. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Fred goes as a cool as ice poster, Daphne goes as the chick from Blair Witch 2, and I'm not gonna lie, I did chuckle when I saw Shaggy and Scooby going as trash cans. Uh, Pull yeah. your pants up, droopy drawers. Droopy drawers? Isn't that the name of Scooby's cousin or something? Or am I thinking of the porno version? I'm fine not knowing the answer to either. I guess I really shouldn't be surprised if there's a, you know, adult film of Scooby-Doo. It's like, why? <sighs> so they spy on the two suspects and find the librarian is clean and the janitor is... What? <laughs> possibly gonna kill someone, but hasn't yet. So they now suspect the vice principal, because of course that's the next probable choice. Velma, can you find out where he lives? He lives on top of Coolsville Mountain. It'd take us all night to ride our bikes up there. Teachers don't get paid shit. How the hell is he living at the top of a mountain? Unless he's in a hut waiting to light the beacons of Gondor? I don't see how this is possible! Shaggy reveals he can drive them up there because he has a license and is older than he looks because he was held back. You're right, I got held back! <sighs> Well, that was a necessary dive into Scooby's thought process. Wouldn't a more fitting conclusion be something like this? <laughs> so they go to find a car from Daphne's extremely rich family. Right behind you. Ha, <laughs> Groovy! We can kidnap a ton of kids with that! 300,000 miles! Hence a mystery this machine still runs. Cool. Uh, hey, did you also know that the Ghostbuster logo came from a graffiti artist in the subway? Nobody cares! Yeah, like, not everything needs an origin, man. Like, not everything needs a prequel. Like, oh, like, how did we get here? Like, like it's better to just, you know, leave it in the mystery, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Um, those are working. <laughs> And now to just start us up. Ooh, is it weird that all I'm thinking about is what that useless toy cameo front and center is thinking? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this ain't a shit. It goes on and on forever. How did this film get greenlit? <laughs> they drive to the vice principal's house where they have some friendly conversations in the car. What? No, nothing. It's just, since we started this investigation, so many of my theories have been disproved. Like the theory that I'm attracted to boys. <laughs> you were right about the chemical, and, and you found the name? No, no, not about that stuff. About... you. I refer you back to my last joke. <laughs> they make it to the vice principal's house where they split up and search for clues. Come on, Scoob, let's see if it works. <laughs> Fred is a daisy. <laughs> You know, I hear Scoopy Offset does an amazing Julius Caesar. His rendition of Ren's Runtryman, Ren Me Your Rears, sends shivers down the New York Times critic, but, you know, he does the fart stuff to pay the bills. Rough. The ghosts appear to be <laughs> waiting for them and. <laughs> Why are you going in planes? You're ghosts! That's enough! It's like if Freddy Krueger went into the soul of a fly. Hey, I'm a fly, bitch! I'm a goddamn fly! <laughs> Wow, you really do suck at this. <laughs> Get out of here. So it looks like they solved the mystery of who did it. Time capsule. It's gotta be what he's after. We did it. <laughs> we solved the mystery. And with 20 minutes to spare, anyone want to play Clue? I bet we'll all suck at it. <laughs> the ghosts scare them outside, though, where they fall into a trap. 
I am the great and poorly rendered Oz. <laughs> he gasses them and takes them to the high school where he forces them to find the capsule or he'll kill Scooby. You'll never get away with this, Vice Principal Grimes. Yes, because those two clearly have the same build of one another. Peter Dinklage was my next guess. <laughs> Shaggy, what are you doing? Hanging myself. I want out of this film. Oh my god. Screw use my dog and I do anything to save him. They all head down to find the capsule where we come across a very strange thing moment. Are you okay? Never better. <laughs> Has what? anyone anywhere ever shipped Velma and Fred? Was that in high demand? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Scoopy and Shaggy have more slash art than these two. It doesn't go anywhere anyway, as they trick the villain into coming down. I think we found it! Uh, the, the problem is, it's really heavy! <sighs> well, alright. Where is it? Well, come on! Let me have it! I insist that you let me have it! And I mean that in a completely unironic way- OH NO! AN IRONIC WAY! <laughs> they get the book from him and try undoing the spells, but it only releases more ghosts. And funny enough, they forgot to write in how this affects our heroes as the ghosts never make their way towards them. They just go after random people. I mean, what are we supposed to say here? Oh no, that lady won't be able to microwave her lasagna! <laughs> it's like saying, I need to find the spell to get rid of these monsters! Ish kabibble, ish kaboom! Oh, now it seems there's monsters in Australia. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, some of these ghosts may get a little too friendly. <laughs> oh. I'm just assuming he was tying her shoe. They finally say the spell to send all the ghosts back, but our main villain is still there. You think that changes anything? How long did he have that dynamite lit? It's pretty damn good timing. If even one thing got delayed, the scene would be like... You think that changes anything? I'm still the only... <laughs> well, the film would be a lot shorter. Scoopy escapes and saves the day, though, leading them to discover really the only person left, and they're still somehow surprised by it! Principal Deal! You ruined everything. This doesn't make any sense. Really? This doesn't make sense? I mean, okay, the guy dressing up as a ghost to get time capsule in mean, the real world, yeah, I'm sure, but I mean, in Scooby-Doo, really? Of course, he reveals what we already knew, that the rare stamp he was talking about in the beginning was in the time capsule, and this was all a ploy to get it. I feel like there could have been several ways to accomplish this, not including raising the dead, but yeah. he says the thing. It would have been all mine if it weren't for you meddling kids and your dog. Are people yeah. not seeing Mangy anymore? I love Mangy. Bring back Mangy. The students are praised for their work and given a celebration in their honor. It was a combination of Fred's leadership, Velma's brains, <laughs> Daphne's resourcefulness, uh, and the most important ingredient of all, pot. Our friendship. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely pot. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. We solved an actual mystery. Actually, you didn't. You had the wrong suspects the whole time until you amassed him. You escaped death by blind luck, but that doesn't look as good on the side of a van. Shaggy, however, takes <laughs> some of the dog treats he made luck. earlier and decides to give them a name. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Will we work? <laughs> yeah, I figure you love these treats so much I'd name them after you. Somehow I'll manufacture them and get no credit, but at least we have an incredibly wonky origin story now. We end with tons of scenes either recreating the cartoon or we wish were in the film we saw and the movie finally ends. It's really amazing how much of this does and yet somehow doesn't connect to the cartoon. I guess just like the other Scooby-Doo movies when you really think about it. So, Critic, now do you see why you didn't try as hard on this one? I don't know, Roger. Maybe we can solve the mystery of why you didn't try- Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. The movie is bad, but it's bad in a different way from the other Scooby films. Those movies were at least creative in how awful and unfocused they were. This one is just kind of bland and generic. On the one hand, it makes sense. It's a kid's TV movie with a much lower budget. But it's instantly forgettable. I mean, the acting is fine for the most part, and the effects for a kid's film, I guess, are passable. But in a weird way, it's even more infuriating that you can't get that angry at it. At least the other two were spectacularly bad. This one is just unimpressively bad. I don't know if you want to take that as a compliment or an insult, but still a Scooby turd I suggest passing up. So I guess if we're not going to do a mystery, we might as well put the costumes back. You know, it's a shame, Roger. I was really looking forward to doing something with... Oh yeah, Roger's still a psycho. Well, we'll show him and you're yeah. done. Okay. Well, there's only one thing to do in this situation. Netflix and chill! <laughs> there's a mystery in town. 
have a really clear vision at the end of the day. That. Oh, that happens whenever somebody dies around here. Hmm. You should really get some raid for that. Oh! <laughs> Let's see who this dinosaur really is! Yeah. Rob! <laughs> Let's see who this Rob really is! Rob! Who? Let's see who this Rob really is! Old Man Rob! <laughs> Let's see who Old Man Rob really is! Old, old Man, man dinosaur. dinosaur! Came full circle, kinda. Guys, what are we doing? I don't know. Open, so that may be a glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, what do you expect? I mean, it's it's made for kids, you know. Uh, and plus, of course, it definitely doesn't look like they had anywhere near the budget for the uh, first two live-action movies. So, yeah, I mean, but I mean, like, you know, it's it's more likely something that, you know, you just put it on and, you know, get your kids to shut up, you know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, if you like it, don't like it, I mean, who cares? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my reaction to Scooby-Doo, The Mystery Begins by Nostalgia Critic. Everyone take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.